Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick update on my plumbing rough-in for my slab um, and just talk about some learnings and some of the things that uh, didn't work out so good, some of the stuff that worked out okay. So um, uh, the inspector wanted a 10-foot static water test. So I jury-rigged uh, a system here with a one-inch pipe and a bit of a funnel at the top there. Um, you know, it... Uh, it worked out pretty good. The only only problem I had is that these joints uh, leaked a little bit right here. And um, I just taped together some PVC, which was, it's adequate. It, it holds the, the liquid level, but it's not ideal. Um, the better thing to have done, to, in my mind, would have just been to run a hose from a tank in the back of my truck. Uh, it's the same pressure whether you have a large a uh, piece of pipe or a small hose or whatever it's really the elevation that counts so um, anyways that's a probably next time I'm just going to do that I know the inspector wanted a hard pipe solution so I'm giving it to him uh, these caps worked out really good I just taped them up a little bit um, and they were like really bulletproof um, out here that end should see full full pressure of the full 10 feet on the end of that four inch cap and it held held water really well. I just hammered them on really good and then taped them with electrical tape. Um, you can see that it rained overnight and so there's water everywhere, but when I tested it last night, it was, uh, it didn't leak. It looks like it's leaking really bad, but it's not. It was just a rain that we just had. Um, the other learnings I had uh, from a plumbing perspective, I kind of did a stupid thing here I uh, I did up my fittings one at a time, starting from here to there to there. And you can see that it doesn't, I mean, I'll be able to bend it into shape, uh, you know, just bend it over a little bit. It, it's not going to affect the quality of the job. But the second one, when I did my riser, I just came straight from, I put all this together first, and then my final glue job was that that piece right there so um i had it in a perfect alignment at that point which would have been a smarter way to do it the other thing that i did that was kind of stupid is i started with a small can of uh the abs glue and in a small can is a really small dopper it's like uh you know almost as big as your thumb kind of thing and it's really hard to get enough glue Probably even the can says to, you know, only use this up to two inch or something like that. But um, anyways, when I graduated to the bigger can, that really made all the difference for gluing these things together. Like really what you want is a ton of glue. You know, don't spare the glue, just um, uh, put on lots and then get it forced together quickly and give it that little twist that spreads out the glue evenly. Um, so that was a kind of a bit of a learning nothing I didn't have any bad catastrophic effects on that but uh, you know right here uh, that thing's a bit skewed just because I couldn't I couldn't rotate it fast enough I just I had enough glue but it's set up too fast um, so it's a little bit off off kilter there the one thing I found out worked really good for my under slab uh, piping coming in this uh, the tubing is 200 psi and in BC, you require a um, uh, a compression fitting at the end of this. So this blue, it's actually a water drop for your well, and um, or pipe drop or whatever they call it for your well. It's 200 psi rated, and you can actually get a compression fitting at the end of that. So that's uh, that is one thing the inspector is looking for. But under the slab, they're also looking for a, uh, not the slab, but under the footing, they're also looking for a sleeve. And uh, my sleeve was just enough length to get underneath there, just an old piece of two inch that I had. And um, it actually worked out super slick. I used my, um, I had a satellite based uh, survey system. And so I pre-marked it in advance. And of course, if you see just along the edge, you can't really see any notification of anything happening but I quickly marked that out this morning right down to the you know half inch quarter inch exactly where that thing was quickly dug it out on both sides and then fished it through so that was uh, really handy um, <clears throat> those are probably the main learnings uh, I'm gonna I still got to put together my radon piping 
the I think I'm gonna leave it um, unglued until the inspector gets here I'm just gonna lay it out put it together loosely and make sure he's happy with the configuration and everything but that's about all I have to share on this uh, plumbing rough-in and uh, hydrostatic test thanks hopefully somebody likes it and you can use it and subscribe thanks bye